I've made a few of these retro style signs for our cabin already. They seem to trigger a nostalgic feeling for a lot of people. The dark brown color was a common theme in many campgrounds. So today I'm going to be making this campfire sign out of some scrap spruce I had laying around. I just ran it through the planer until it was around three quarters of an inch. With a quick Google search, you can find many of the campground sign templates you can print for free. For this step, I used Mod Podge from the dollar store. As you can tell, I used too much, but I decided to just roll with it. My initial thoughts was to use enough to saturate the paper so the edges didn't get fuzzy while I was routering, but it didn't really make a difference. In my palm router, I just used a quarter inch round nose bit. The small round nose bit does make for a bit of cleanup with a chisel and some sandpaper, but it's no big deal. This whole routering process took about six minutes. It could be done easier with a CNC machine but I think you might lose some of the handmade look. The router bit couldn't fit right out into the tips of the flame, so I had to finish them up with a chisel. I could have used a straight edge here to make these lines a little more straight but they turned out pretty good as is. Now I just send the whole thing back to the planer a couple of times to remove the paper. I'd set the router a little extra deep to allow for this. You do have to be careful when you're sanding not to round the edges over too much. Then I just cut it to size on the crosscut sled on my table saw. Drilled and countersunk a couple of mounting holes. This is the step where you distress it. You just have to be really careful not to do too much or too little. You just kind of got to follow your heart. Flat Leather Brown by Tremclad seems to work really well for these signs. It goes on quite glossy but dries flat in no time at all.
For the details on the sign, I use Gloss Yellow by Tremclad. This was the most time consuming step, roughly 20 minutes, but it was very satisfying to see the details start to stand out. It would be a huge help if you guys could like this video and subscribe to our channel. In the meantime, Here's the finished sign ready to go on the cabin wall. Appreciate you guys watching.